Guys, we just need to admit this. Hi and welcome back. Hope you all are having a great day out there. I want to just do a walk with you all real quickly and talk directly to you as I sometimes do and just have kind of a raw, unedited conversation here about XRP and XLM. Now, whether you are actually invested in XRP or XLM is kind of irrelevant to what I'm about to talk to you about. Whether you are for XRP and XLM is extremely relevant and extremely important. Now, first off, I've been getting a lot of FUD lately. I deal with this every single day when it comes to XRP and XLM, and that's okay. I'm a long-term investor. I've been dealing with this for a while. And, you know, we're going to have that when we have no price action. However, with that being said, this is part of the message I wanna get out to you and everyone out there. As it pertains to XRP and XLM, there's a lot of misinformation out there. First off, do you really think that we want to have an ongoing case with the SEC? Do you think that that may just be, might just possibly be like a wet blanket on the price of XRP and has for a long time? And do you also realize what's going to happen to the price when this case is closed? Now, what I'm trying to get at is, yeah, whether you're an XRP or XLM, very irrelevant to me. But in terms of being in crypto, being in the whole space, the cryptocurrency community space, everyone should be rooting on XRP and XLM. XLM, when we talk about the Stellar Development Foundation, we know that they are working with the CFTC, actually an advisor there, right? So extremely close with the regulators that we want to work with. We don't really wanna work with the SEC, right? Because they want to deem everything as a security, which we know XRP is not. We want these digital assets to be commodities. So all of us should not only be rooting for XRP, as we just had a massive victory last year, and we want to continue this winning streak, but we should also be rooting for XLM because they are closely aligned with the regulators we want. Now, a lot of FUD out there going on with people talking about Ripple themselves dumping on retail. This is misinformation. These are folks out there, the masses out there that are misinformed, that don't understand that Ripple, and it's very clear, it's very transparent. You can publicly look this up. It's all online available to you. Ripple sells to ODL partners, on-demand liquidity partners. We're talking about big institutions. This is where we want XRP to go. This is where we want XRP in the hands of, right? As one of the biggest reasons I'm in on XRP and XLM is because the fact that they are so closely aligned with institutions, corporations, governments, and countries out there. Now, what we have to understand is whether we're in XRP or XLM, the prices are both very closely related. And when, not I should say when, not if, but when the case is closed, we're gonna see an absolute shot, moonshot with XRP. I think many of us can attest to that, understand what's going to happen with a win in the cryptocurrency, or excuse me, Ripple case. And just judging, based off last year's price action, when we got the major victory against the SEC, as it came out, we are a non-security. What happened to the whole crypto space, guys? Everything was pumping that day. So again, that goes back to my uh, original point is everyone in crypto should be rooting on Ripple. I'm seeing far too much FUD out there and I, I get it, right? How do I stay convinced how do i stay so convicted in the fact that i believe in xrp going the distance and becoming a winner in this cryptocurrency game well it simply goes back to you know i've been an investor for a long time i never believed that i was going to get into this market and just see everything explode to the moon overnight right and I know I have friends that made millions off Dogecoin back in the day and, and you know, even on Bitcoin early on. I wasn't, right? 
I was in early, but I got out way too early. My point is I understand at this point from being not only in the cryptocurrency market, but the stock market as well, is this is a game that you have to be patient in. That's not what the most, that's not what most YouTubers want to paint the picture as. Most YouTubers out there right now, from what I see, and I think many of you can attest to this as well, are pumping several coins based off trends. First off, if you're getting in on a coin or token that's trending, you're probably too late. Most of the price action has already happened and you're probably going to get dumped on by whales. And so the best thing you can do is take a look at what you hold, do your due diligence, understand what you're investing in and hold for the long term. Prices that are going down right now that have a position in the future of digital space is probably a discount to you right now. And so, yes, I get FUD every single day. And I had someone in the comments section on my last video say, hey, I commend you, man. It's hard for me as a holder of XRP. I can't imagine being an XRP influencer or YouTuber. I don't really like the word influencer. I don't wanna influence you. I want you to do your own due diligence and, and understand what you're getting into. And obviously I don't just talk about XRP and XLM, but these are two coins that I have big bags on. And so what we see on the daily is YouTubers out there talking about different tokens and coins, jumping back and forth, making retail convinced that it's the next best thing, talking about a new token, they'll get in and oftentimes get dumped on by those exact same YouTubers. You think they have your best interests? They do not, guys. Along with that, what tells me we are getting close is I 100% believe that some of my videos, XRP videos, are getting shadow banned. I recently talked to XRP007. He's another XRP YouTuber, real good guy, about this. And I think he can, he understands as well. Because if you look at my actual likes versus views, I've had videos that only get about 5,000 views or so and maybe 500 to 600 likes. Those same exact videos uh, in terms of what other YouTubers are getting for uh, talking about other coins, project tokens, they're getting 10,000, 15,000 views for the same amount of likes. So what that tells me is those of you out there that have notification bells on, on my videos will see them and hopefully like them. It's, a, it's apparent that many of you do like the content. You'll click like, but unfortunately, those of you that do not have notifications on simply are not seeing my content. And YouTube has actually unsubscribed people that didn't wanna be unsubscribed from my channel. I know this, this has been confirmed. I've talked to several people about this. That being said, I'm not just, I'm not trying to be out here getting rich and famous on YouTube. Guys, I could care less, right? I have other means of income. This isn't my form of income. I do this because I'm passionate about the digital space. I talk about coins, tokens, projects that I believe in. I want to help people out there understand what truth, what truth is out there versus fact or versus fiction and FUD out there because we have far too much of that in the mass media. Being a little bit older now, thir going on 38, right? I've been in this game for years, guys, and I understand every single day, people are getting flooded out of their bags because they're listening to the main media source outlets that are 100% lying to you. So when I started this channel a few years ago, I said, one of my main goals here is just simply to tell the truth. Based off my experience, based off what I know is happening in the space, but primarily just telling people simply the truth. And the truth is, guys, if you want to hop around and trade and go back and forth to different tokens, some some people don't even do their due diligence. They just listen to what some YouTuber out there is saying because they think it's a great coin or token and because it's trending, you're most certainly going to get wrecked. I know from experience as well. Starting out in the early stages, I did that same game where I went back and forth, right? There's going to be winners and losers in this game. 95% will be losers. There's a lot of good blue chips out there. Ripple and Stellar are one of them, or two of them, I should say. You can, 
you can buy into that or not i could care less i know i'm going to not sell my bags in fact if we do go into the 40s and we did touch it here today then that's where i enter more and get into more xrp so simply just wanted to do this video just kind of raw unedited talk to you all about the truth out there guys because so many folks are lying to you and i'm really sick and tired of seeing people get wrecked if you like these types of videos where i just talk raw to you talk do a kind of a walk and talk tell you what's on my chest have kind of a heart to heart with you then click the like button let me know in the comment section share the video and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next one